Welcome, riders, ridettes, and pillions to the 2022 Distinguished Gentleman's Ride here in Washington, D.C. This is freaking cool. If you're tuning in and somehow learning about the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride for the first time, this is an annual charity ride where people on classic or classic looking motorcycles like my Triumph Speed Twin dress to the nines and raise money for the Movember Foundation, which supports various men's health efforts, uh, specifically mental health and testicular and prostate cancer. You register for the ride and then people can donate on your behalf. I think they said earlier that there's 167 riders registered in DC this year and we've raised like $12,000 or something. I want to thank everybody who donated for me. Uh, let's see, Ken, Walter, Bridget, I think there was a Will in there, Joao, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Roger, and anybody who donated anonymously. I also want to thank uh, local viewer Danny who sent me a video on how to tie a bow tie yesterday because this is my first time ever wearing one. In addition to my first time wearing a bow tie, this is also my first time uh, properly participating in the DGR. I did it sort of solo last year. I was in Montana at the time, it was pouring down rain, uh, but I'm doing it with the group here in DC. And fortunately we have pretty good weather other than it being a bit hot. I think I'm at the upper limit of the comfortable temperature range for my Indy Ridge Golden Gloves, but that's all right. I guess uh, nothing I'm wearing today is really appropriate for the ride. When last I checked, J. Crew was not CE rated. Our destination is the U.S. Capitol. Uh, we've already been kind of split up into a couple groups by traffic lights. I don't believe we have an escort of any kind. A lot of triumphs in the group today. There's a I think that's another speed twin behind me, maybe a street twin, I can't tell from here. Uh, and then behind me to my right is actually a street triple. The DGR organizers are pretty adamant about you riding a classic or retro styled bike, but I'm not sure I agree with that. I don't think people should be disqualified from participating just because they're on, you know, say a street triple, or there's a CRF up there, there's a K1600 in front of them. I think classic bikes should be encouraged, but not required, and I'm glad to see that these people uh, felt welcome enough to participate today. Somebody taking our photo over there. Hard to tell who's actually affiliated and who's not. We are drawing a lot of eyes and a lot of lenses out here. You may have seen me mention on Instagram and on Bry the Biker's podcast, Beyond the Rider, the other day, that I was hoping to live stream this event. It is theoretically possible to connect my GoPro to my phone and then have it serve as the camera while my phone live streams to YouTube. I did a brief private test stream at home the other day and it worked, but for some reason at Potomac Park this morning, the button to actually go live was grayed out. It just didn't want to do it, so maybe next time. What? Where, where are we going here, gang? Man, I have one of the quietest bikes here. We already went out this way. What the hell? This isn't the route. Oh man. I think we got separated from anybody who has any idea where the hell we're going. I looked at the route a bit ahead of time. Not enough to commit it 100% to memory, but enough to know that this is not exactly where we were supposed to go. I have to go around this 
ambulance. Looks like this genius tried to hang a U-turn in the middle of the bridge. If they didn't see a Suburban, they definitely wouldn't have seen a motorcycle. We're down to like 20 of us right here. The whole group is probably there already. We're gonna miss the photo. Oh wait, look, there's another group. How'd they end up over the... Glad we're not the only ones who were lost. In theory, we all live here and should know our way around. Okay, I can see the capital. I can see bikes in the front. We're making progress. Ah, my turn signal's on. Damn it. Gotta delete the video and start over. Well, I guess I've shown you everything I was going to show you, so I am just going to abruptly end the video.